So walking your dog is incredibly important for most dogs. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that later on, but today's video we are talking about mistakes you are probably making while walking your dog. Well, hey guys, welcome back. If you happen to be new here, my name is Jessica. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer, and this is the Pet Parenting Reset, where we talk about all things dog training, dog behavior, cat behavior, dog and cat nutrition and enrichment, all the things to make sure your furry family member is living their best, healthiest, happiest life and thriving, not just surviving. So today we are talking about walking your dog and some mistakes you may be making while walking your dog but that's okay because after watching this video you will no longer be making these mistakes say it with me i will no longer be making these mistakes walking my dog <laughs> okay so i have a few pet peeves let me first get these off my chest i have to get this off of my chest i have a few pet peeves when i see people walking their dogs i will say since i've moved if y'all have not been if you if you haven't been following me well I mean, okay, maybe you just found me, that's all right. About a year ago, actually by the time this video goes live, it will have just passed a year, we moved from Southern California to Central Texas. Now I'm not a Californian, I'm from Virginia, but I did spend a few years in California and quickly said, let's get out of here. So we're in Central Texas now, and when we were in California, I saw this literally every day and it bothered me like it shook me to my core every time i saw it um for two reasons and here's what it was people on their phones while walking their dog literally every single day some days multiple people i would see doing this i will say since i have moved i have not seen this very much um so i'm 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 thankful for this because it's bothered me so much let me tell you why one you're not paying attention to your dog. You are not in the moment. This is a bonding experience that you should be having with your dog. And we're gonna be talking a little bit more about what dog, what dog walks are for and all the different types of dog walks because it's important to provide variety, not just for your dog, but for you in walking your dog. Um, though I will say it's like 99% for your dog, but you get some enjoyment out of changing things up too. So. Be in the moment, be there with your dog. You do not need to be on your phone. Second reason, and this is something um, for me specifically, like as a female and as a smaller female, um, I, I need to be paying attention to my surroundings and you do too, because there are some not so nice people out there. In fact, there are quite a few not so nice people out there and you need to be paying attention to your surroundings. You don't want somebody walking up to you and you didn't even know they were there because you were too enthralled with whatever is on your phone. Now, it's a safety concern, bottom line. But more importantly, this is time for you and your dog. So use it wisely and get off of your phone. Okay, let me just add, have your phone with you in case of emergency, just don't be on it, okay? Okay, so I really only have two more things that I want to tell you about that are mistakes you are possibly making. Um, and then we're going to get into some more fun stuff. So the second thing, and I'm just going to quickly bring up the equipment that you're using. We want to be using harnesses. If, if you haven't heard me say this before, definitely go back on my channel and, and I have done multiple videos about never ever attaching leashes to collars. Our dog's neck is entirely too sensitive, especially if you have a dog that pulls, there's a lot of pressure. There are things that can get damaged in their neck. I only recommend attaching leashes to harnesses. And if you have a strong puller, get a harness that has both the back and the front clip. Um, depending on the dog, depending on the situation, a lot of times I just use the front clip, but for some dogs, you may wanna use both at the same time. Secondly, a flat lead. We do not want those um, retractable leashes. Nope, just a plain old flat lead is all you need and it's the best thing you can be using uh, to have a monicum of control over your dog. Now, of course, if we have done all of our training and, and our dog is beautifully walking on the leash, of course, we don't even need to use the word control. That shouldn't be coming up, but for some people, Sometimes you do need to have a little bit of control over where your dog can and can't go. So a simple flat lead, depending on where you live, 
check out what, uh, what the regulations are in the city or county you live in. Some places it's a four foot lead, some places it's a six foot lead. I like the six foot, so if you can get a six foot, get a six foot, but don't use the retractable leashes. Never ever ever use prong collars or choke collars or electric collars. We don't want any of that. We don't need any of that. They're damaging to the bond that you have with your dog and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that in this video. If you wanna learn more, there are other videos on my channel. And here's the third thing. Let your dog sniff. Let me say that again in case you couldn't hear it over my clapping. Let your dog sniff. You get to go out into the world. You may go to work, go to the grocery store, you go get your nails done, you go get your hair done, you meet with your friends, you have dinner, you go to your families, you go to weddings. You, go, you have a whole life in this world. Your dog has a life in your house. How boring is it? Think about where what you do with your dog. Think about it. Getting out on those walks is the highlight of their day for a lot of dogs. Now maybe you have an adventure dog. I don't know. You could be, if, if you have an adventure dog, you're probably not watching this video, but most dogs have a really boring mundane life that exists within the four walls of our house, <laughs> right? When we go outside and when we go on a walk with our dog, we need to let them sniff. We need to let them take in the environment, the enrichments of the environment outside of the house. This is so important for our dogs. Now, I know what you're saying. You're thinking to yourself, Jessica, I can't do this every single time I walk out of the house with my dog. Sometimes I have things to do and places to go. Sometimes I just need them to pee and come back in. I get it, I get it. Not every walk has to be what we call a snafari. No, but we do need to make time for those kinds of walks. We need to let them get out and experience the world. We need to take them to new and different places. Let them smell new and different things. Okay, great. How do we do that? Well, we change up what we do and we make, we schedule time to be out with our dog and let them engage in the outside world in the safest way possible, of course. Um, but yes, there are training walks. There are structured walks. There are, we just need to take a potty break walks, right? And then there are gonna be snafaris. There are gonna be these really exciting, fun walks where we let our dog spend all the time they want, need, and desire to sniff the world around us. And when we do these walks, um, we should really you know, use different routes. Go different places if you can. Go to different parks, go to the beach. Go t let your dog enjoy nature, the outside world, and let them take it all in. There are other kinds of walks too. We can have power walks, right? Where we're really pumped up trying to get some exercise in. We can have walks with friends and family. That's really fun for our dogs. Uh, of course, we've talked about change of scenery walks. We can even hire people to come and walk our dog, especially if we have long days at the office. We can have somebody that you know and trust, somebody that you hire and trust to come and take our dog for walks whether they're power walks or snafari walks, purposeful walks, to get out and go potty, whatever it may be, this is something new and exciting for your dog. So there are lots of wonderful things that we can do just with walks that really can enrich our dog's lives. Didn't wanna be all doom and gloom with all the things we're doing wrong at the beginning. Look at all the wonderful things we can do with our walks. So you're gonna have to let me know in the comments below. I know I started out strong with something that really grinds my gears um, about people being on their phones when they walk their dogs. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments if you feel as strongly about that as I do, um, or if you had never thought about it before and now you're like, oh my gosh, Jessica, you've just ruined my life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course I would never do that, but let me know in the comments if any of this resonated with you. Let me know if you have further questions about anything we talked about today. If you have even questions that don't have anything to do about with we talk, what we talked about today, if I could talk. And um, as long as they're about your pets, I would love to answer them. Maybe it will be my next video. So with that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It's absolutely free to click that button down there, then select all notifications. 
That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video or Rumble if you have to be happen to be watching on Rumble. Um, thank you so much. Also, if you're not following the podcast, I don't know why not. Yet again, something free for you wherever you get your podcast, Apple, Spotify, Google, all the places, search the Pet Parenting Reset. By the way, if you happen to be checking out my shirt and you're like, that's really cute, where do I get that? It is in my link tree, which is the second link in the description of this and every other video on my channel. It's one of the um, shirts in my store, Talk Dogs to Me. I absolutely love it with the beautiful um, dog over here. One of my favorites in my shop, if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, you can get tanks, tees like I have on here, sweatshirts, all the things. So yeah, um, but for real, make sure you are checking out the podcast. Anywhere you get podcasts, just search the Pet Parenting Reset with that. I'm gonna end today's video. I hope you and your pets have a lovely rest of your day. Make sure to give them some extra love from me. Until next time, bye guys.